This short video is uh, produced by Console Core. <coughs> Console Core has a product by the name of Stable Creek manufactured for our customers' exclusive use. Stable Creek's a penetrating concrete sealer, unsurpassed and unequaled in the marketplace for its ability and ease of application and the job it does to waterproof any and all concretes. And Console Core has many projects. The one that we're looking at right now is a three million gallon wire wound tank at a wastewater treatment plant. We've treated the interior of this tank and now we're focusing on the exterior. As you can see, a material in the photograph below is the wire that is pre-stressed and wrapped around the exterior of this tank and then coated with shotcrete. This is one of the materials we propose to protect with the application of this waterproofing material to the exterior surface of the tank. It's important that these strands of wire, which are miles long, be protected from degradation and rust on the surface. One way to protect it is to waterproof shotcrete, keeping the pH of the interior of this tank at a very high level to passivate steel that's embedded in it. As you can see, we are attempting to identify an area where the product will be applied by placing blue painter's tape in the corners. Uh, the small dots at each corner are reference points that are affixed to the concrete and will remain after the material has been applied. In this case, we're using the red tinted version of the Stable Creek product. This will allow quality control personnel the ability to look at the exterior of a tank or any concrete surface and know that the product has been applied and by the depth of the red tint you can tell that the product is applied in sufficient quantities and has been allowed to absorb into the shotcrete material. Light mist is first sprayed on the surface and begin the capillary action absorbing the product into the concrete. A roller is then saturated to make, <clears throat> make sure that it's completely wet and the surface is back rolled. This back rolling operation not only ensures good even coverage, but more importantly, it keeps the product on the surface a sufficient amount of time to allow it to penetrate as deep as it possibly can go into the shot creek material. This is referred to as dwell time, and it's very important that we keep this surface saturated wet to allow the deepest penetration possible. You can see that as the one person with the spray rig is spraying, another is back rolling to keep the operation flowing smoothly. This product can be spray, brush, or roller applied. In most cases, for smaller jobs, a handheld pump sprayer and roller work quite well. If we were doing a space larger than this, say the entire surface of this tank, we would probably use an airless spray setup because it is such a large tank. Now that the product has been applied, you can see the depth of the red tint, and from this we know that it not only has been applied, but it's applied and been allowed to penetrate into the shot creek material. The next thing that we'll want to do is come back to this tank and test the surface for water absorption. Very easy to do. We see one of the reference dots in the lower left-hand corner, and we note that the other dots are still available for reference, even though the red tint was washed away in the first rain. Now a surface applied water is put on both 
the treated and the untreated portions. It's pretty obvious that the untreated side is absorbing that water just as contaminants will be absorbed into the concrete. And this is the purpose of the stable crete application to totally seal that shot crete exterior so that no more contaminants can enter the matrix. A little closer view shows that on the left, the untreated area is quite obviously absorbing water. The one to the right, at the same time, is not. Thank you very much for your time. To learn more information about our StableCrete product, please visit us at www.stablecrete.com or you may contact us at stablecrete at gmail.com. Thank you.